up youtube pasta bob yep here i am in the shop scored some good deals today call one of my brothers and let him know that i did too and i finally built myself a eight foot bed eight foot table i've been wanting to do that for a long time but you know oh god <laughs> for the same reason i'm aching right now um is the reason why i don't usually do it but it's great you know i mean i'm gonna put in a router table here soon i'm just a little too tired and i ate too much so i don't really want to get into it but i got i got the bits right so it's not gonna be that hard of a deal so i'm getting it done i got my uh compound miter saw down there my band saw i haven't finished setting up everything yet but i'm getting there uh my ridge is sitting over in the corner my rigid mobile saw. I, I don't use it that much unless I'm outside doing stuff. So I usually use this old Cadillac. This is an old, old Craftsman. I mean, it's old. 1940s or 50s probably. I never looked up the serial number, but I know it's that old. Just like this old planer. Look at that. I mean, joiner. Look at that. That's an old bird. That's from the 40s or 50s too. Yeah, she's old, but she works great. I mean, she works like a champ. And both of them are belt driven. And then over here, this is an old plane, a craftsman plane. Most people have never seen one of those. Look at the size of the motor on that baby. Huh? Ain't that huge? Oh, yeah. You know, you don't see these anymore. And I'm going to put it to work. I'm actually going to turn that sideways i'm gonna uh put my toolbox and everything else in a different spot and i'm gonna make a extension table going that way so that way i can do some planing and that'll be a nice small plane for small boards but oh my tools are old but they're worth a lot of money don't think they're not i mean good luck finding them it costs you Oh, good, probably two or three thousand dollars for just those three pieces. And then under here, if you look, there's a full cast iron Craftsman um, professional saw under there. And when I tell you that thing weighs about 300 pounds, I am not lying to you. So eventually, um, I want to do something with that. But until then... I'm just going to use my trim saw. But eventually, I'd like to pull that out <clears throat> and build it so that it goes right where this one's at. And then I'll sidestep this one down to the other end where the bandsaw is. And I can put the bandsaw over there. So I got it all planned out. So it's coming together, guys. It's coming together. So I've been working on all kinds of projects. I'm in... Oh, God, wood's so expensive today, guys. You, you, oh, my God. If you don't work in woodworking, you'll never know. But, so, I've been trying to be careful because, God, I got, well, I don't know how much money's wrapped up in wood, but there's a lot of money. You can look it up. Purple Heart, uh, Royal Ebony, um, uh, Birch, uh, Flame Maple, Curly Maple, Honduras Mahogany. Good luck getting that. I don't even think you can buy it anymore. Unless you already have it. I don't think you can buy it. It's really, really expensive. You can buy Mahogany, but Honduras Mahogany is a really rare bird. Um, Paduk, um, Rosewood, um, Man, I got so many different species of wood, man. Sometimes I get messed up with it. I love red oak. Red oak is really nice. It's a nice, strong wood. It's nice to work with. But, yeah, I got I got a lot of money in boxes sitting there. And these boxes here that I'm making, the keepsake boxes, display cases and everything. <clears throat> I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell these. Uh, most of them on a YouTube channel. And, um. I'm going to bring them to you guys first over the next couple months. And if I don't see them selling well, then I'll put them on eBay and they'll go quick. I love them. Because I don't overprice my stuff, you know. 
I mean, people know that, you know, keep good keep bake cake, you know, keepsake boxes like this. When I get them all done and they're all sanded and they're all finished, they can cost you hundreds of dollars, all handmade, hundreds of dollars. But uh, I'm going to keep them reasonable. That way somebody can pick up something really, really nice, all custom made. So, and these size here, well, that's a little story. That's a little different of a story, you know. We're talking some money there, but you know what? Look, I don't do a lot of this stuff anymore, and people have been saying, "Hey, you know, why don't you make some stuff?" Well, I'm making it, and uh, I just think with everything that's going on in the world today, it's it's time for me to make some nice things and and share my experience with you too. We'll have something nice. And there's going to be something special going on to each one of these pieces. Which will take me using this. My forge. My casting. So I'm going to be casting some special emblems that will be in each and every one of them. And uh, I consulted with a friend of mine. My, my good friend. Well, actually he's my brother but. And uh, I'm going to do it. It's going to be, uh, you know, I'm going to make it out of silver too. So I'm going to make a special silver casting for each one of my pieces that I'm making. And they'll be on the tops of each one of them. If it's not on the top, it'll be on the front display because some of them might have, you know, plexiglass tops. So, but yeah, that's what I'm up to. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you have any comments or if you have any uh, questions or ideas, you know, let me know. I'm out here now trying to get some stuff done. Auctions will be coming up soon. Uh, I might be on tomorrow, but I don't, I don't know if I'll really be having an auction or not. I mean, if somebody wants to pick up a few coins or something like that, you can ask me. I'd be happy to do that. But as far as the auction is concerned, I'm holding off for a little while because I want to finish... Uh, these boxes and get these all ready these display cases and keepsake boxes and that way i'll be able to concentrate more on the auctions and having fun and something very special that i'm going to show you you guys are not even going to believe this this is out of the world so i'm going all out this year to try to raise money you know for local community uh, activity that I got going on. Um, everybody that's already been around for a long time knows that I do it every year. Um, Mary and I, we usually uh, get together and we, you know, get stuff for the kids. And um, that's my big thing during Christmas time and the holiday season. You know, making sure kids get toys and clothes and and they have a nice Christmas. And of course, adults too, but. You know, my main focus is for children. You know, it's it's a it's been a tough couple of years, guys, so you know it's more important probably this year, uh, and last year than it's ever been for me. So I appreciate all of your donations. I also appreciate all of your help and coming to the auctions and purchasing items. So this year I'm gonna make it worth it to you. You'll see. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe. I love you all. Take care. And we'll see you soon. Pastor Bob? Well, I'm out of here. See ya.